All right, Larry, so what we have here are your vacuum sealing plates for the cable, the sample cable that you have uh, provided to us. Now, obviously, the cable at your facility is going to be different because it's not going to be just straight. You're going to have a conical piece here and a conical piece here. Uh, but, you know, for demonstration purposes, what we have is just a straight cable. Going back to the vacuum sealing plate, um, the vacuum sealing plate is really simple. We have a dowel pin on each of the plates and then we have a dowel pin alignment hole and then after that we have a threaded um, 5, 16, 18 um, threaded hole and then of course the corresponding clearance hole. Um, what you can also see is that there's a chamfer here uh, for the o-ring that you are going to place or roll on this cable and this chamfer is going to make it so that the o-ring is compressed against the cable and against this plate as you can see it sits it sits in here really nicely so the first thing that you'll do is um you'll you'll get your test cable and then you'll take your ring your o-ring and we'll provide you a couple of them um, you'll place it on there you roll it um across your conical piece um, and then you place it to wherever you need to test it. Then what you'll do is you'll take this cable, you'll place it in here into into this and then what's going to happen is that you are going to you can come from this way you are going to use your alignment pins to close this plate down. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll take these fasteners and you first hand tighten them. You'll first let me just show you here. You'll first hand tighten them here on this side, and then on this side. And then you'll do what you'll do is you'll just tighten them a little bit. Don't put too much um, torque on it. Uh, you don't have to. The sole purpose of the screw is to hold the plates in place. All right. So that is pretty much, there you go. Just a little bit of torque. So with this assembly, as you can see, with this O-ring and this plate, you are essentially ready um, to test your cable. Obviously, we're going to provide you with these plates that will push um, this o-ring in against the cable. But from our testing, we, we realize that that is not necessary. You can essentially um, so what we did here is we just used two screws. Um, so there you go. So this is pretty much your setup. You can kind of see here you have a o-ring but as the vacuum increases it's going to pull this plate against this o-ring and then it's going to pull this o-ring inside this beveled groove regular setup here um you know, a vacuum pump uh, that's just connected and so i'm going to close the venting valve and turn on the pump and then open so at this point the cage is starting up and it's showing about 723.4 that's that's because we're a little bit at a higher altitude than you are but we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the vacuum and then all you gotta do here there we go so you gotta keep the cable there you go aligned right there you cut it you keep it aligned You keep it aligned, and then at this point, we're gonna start pulling the vacuum. And uh, as you can see, we are already at about 304, um, and it wasn't even in about 30 seconds. So what I would suggest you do is uh, somewhere at your facility, you should probably rig something up where you keep this cable concentric with this hole here um, and that's going to prevent this this twisting and turning which 
is a potential for leaks. Um, but at this point, we are already at about 160 tour. I think we're less than 160, 145, uh, which is um, pretty much which is, which is where you need to be. Your requirements were 160 tour, so we're already there. We're about at 100 tour. So let us know if you need us to machine you something, a, a piece that you can place inside this chamber where you can rest this uh, this cable, um, and so so that you can test it. So. Like I said, uh, these plates, the they were initially designed to actually press the ring against, press this O-ring against this cable and against this plate. But turns out that um, the vacuum force is already doing that for us. So for your testing, um, you probably won't need these plates. Uh, you can just use this cable and this plate and you can just use the vacuum pull um, to actually test your high pot cable uh, but we're still gonna send you these plates uh, since they're yours we, we have no use for them here so there you go um, this, it, it, this is it uh, yeah we're about 44 tour at this point this chamber is uh, scheduled to ship on Monday so at this point we're gonna go ahead and wrap her up um, and uh, it's coming your way um, thank you very much for your business and uh, let us know if we can do anything else for you. Have a good day. Bye.